So when the boat shows up, the fish are already in the sink. The, uh, the pump is then dropped into the pen, lowered into the into the cage, and uh, the operations crew, the harvest crew, will then gently crowd the fish to a, a smaller waiting uh, pocket in the front of the boat, where we just take five to six thousand fish at a time. So as soon as we get here, the first thing we do, we come along, we tie up to the system. They have the the fish and a seine net. We pump the fish out of the net onto the boat, stun and bleed them, chill them down to right around zero, and then run them into the plant. So here at Port Hardy Processing Plant, the fish arrive from harvest and they immediately come into the plant at 7 a.m. in the morning across our, our Morel Dynamic Waste Scale and sorted into four to five pound increments through our gutting machines and that really enables us to drive the efficiencies. Our quality graders break the fish down into four different grades. Once the fish get a grade and a weight, it finds its spot in the, in the rail S packer and from there once a batch is, has been produced it's automatically calling for a box to be, for it to drop into. So the Morel S Packer allows us to be one of the most efficient packing plants in the world. I can say that. We pack up to 70 fish a minute. That would take 50 people if we were to do that manually. The Nova software and labeling allows us to have full traceability from the farm to end customer, including the boxes that we utilize, how much ice goes in a box, when that box was produced and what temperature that fish was at. Every bit of information is in that barcode. The Morel S Packer allows us to sort into two different streams boxes to our end customers, and also into reusable bins that are transported to our filleting plant in Surrey, British Columbia. So here what we're doing is we're taking whole fish in from um, our primary processing plants and filleting them. We have the ability using the centralized control system to select a production speed and all the conveyors in the factory uh, adjust so that there's no binding a product in any of the transfers from conveyor to conveyor. So the 2730 really helps us keep our yield in check and very stable because it's machine, a machine that does a lot of complex um, processes on the fish as it's being filleted. We're able to maintain quality of our fish by using uh, conveyors throughout our, our process, uh, which minimizes the amount of handling that we do to the fillets. We're in the same building as our distribution hub, so we're able to maintain a very, very um, tight control on the cold chain, and we have immediate access to our inventory. As it became harder and harder to get good wild fish, uh, that we started using farm salmon. We could tell you how we make the marinade and how we do it, but if you don't have it at Telegraph Cove, I hate to tell you, it's not going to be as good. Yeah, we buy it from Marine Harvest uh, in Port Hardy. They have a plant there. We get it, it's a fresh product. We know how good it is. And our restaurant got nominated as one of the best places in the world to eat while you're on tour. And it's all about that salmon.